Welcome back to Gothic Homemaking for another Shop With Me video where I take you to all of the big stores and show you what they're offering this Halloween season. Now, if you watch my hauls from last year, you'll know that I had tremendous success at Joanne Fabrics and Craft Stores. So naturally, I was eager to visit one this season. And I did just that. It was early in the season, merely August 8th, when I went to one in Henderson, Nevada. Take a look. Walking into the store, I was instantly met with pumpkins and, of course, skeletons. There were lots of skeletal knickknacks, like this book that we've seen elsewhere. And, of course, anytime I see a jar, I always want to check if the cork is removable and blasted. Seriously? They had some very tasteful, ornate skulls and some other skeletal items that, while they're not right for me, might be right for you. And, you know what, I'm just not even going to talk about yoga skeletons anymore. In the growing pumpkin collection, they're really stepping up the game by doing things like putting lights inside of them. And jeepers creepers, now you know where to get these peepers. They have a novel new way of displaying pumpkins in the way of these headless figures. You can take any one of their pumpkins and place it on top and create these mix and match characters. Though I'd probably use a rotting pumpkin. Being a fan of functionality, I of course loved these storage boxes. If you haven't seen my video on eliminating clutter from your lair, check that out. You can take your clutter and put it in here and it won't be seen, along with these polka dots, which I don't particularly care for. I noticed there were a lot of empty spaces still on the shelves, but in the artificial plant section, I found these beautiful creeper vines. And if you've seen my DIY projects, you know that I get a lot of use out of these. And also these creepy wreaths. I use this one in my Batmobile project. Back to skeletons. I don't personally care for the animal skeleton collection, but I go every year to see what novel new ideas they have. And this year, they've added things like frogs to the list and light up angler fish, as well as this light up octopus. And while they're not for me, I just gotta give a high five to my skeletal friend here. Here's another item we've seen elsewhere this season, a vase shaped like Victorian boots. As my Canadian friends would say, I'm all a boot these. In fact, it's worthy of another high five. On a near empty shelf, I spotted these candles and I really loved the bone ones. So I picked up two sets. Keep in mind, Joann's is a craft store. So there's lots of craft projects there that are right for Halloween. They also have a lot of lovely Halloween themed ribbons. And of course, the one place Joann's can never be beat is in fabric. At Joann's, you will find dozens upon dozens of Halloween-themed prints, including ravens and bats, all manner of skeletons and skulls, vintage Halloween designs, morbid anatomy prints, and of course, the ever-popular Ouija board motifs. All in all, there's no shortage of designs that are dark. While I did find those really cool bone candles at that location, I noticed there were a lot of empty spaces on the shelves, but I thought, hey, it's early in the season. So one week later on August 9th, I hit another Joann fabric store, this one in Kansas City. Take a look. It was a sunny day in Kansas City, Missouri, and outside of the store there were Halloween cushions and pumpkins and funkins. If you haven't seen my DIY on how to carve one of these, check it out right here on this channel. Inside, of course, there were Halloween knickknacks, but at this location, I found kitchen towels, the kind I can use all year long. Now, I'm a punny son of a gun, as you know. I'm here for the booze as well, and I like a good bon appetit, but for year-round use in the lair, I need something like this, a little bit more dignified. The curse was broken. I finally got a kitchen towel. Also extremely useful is the cheesecloth and creepy fabric that they sell at Joann's. You can drape these over your furniture and create a really creepy look. And of course the white is great for giving the illusion of cobwebs and at 50% off, you really can't say no. The lace tablecloths at Joann's are always a must have. And they had more candles here like these Beetlejuice looking ones novel skull ones, and more of the bone ones. So, I picked up another set. They also had Halloween ribbons here, but if you dig, you'll find some really elegant ones that are great for DIY projects. 
like these with a skull, or this one with a gorgeous ornate damask pattern. That's a must have. Of course, they had ornate skulls and more skeletal knickknacks, but I really found this figure very intriguing. He's got a very sassy pose. In the skeletal animal section, I somehow miss this mermaid skeleton that a lot of you have told me about. It reminds me of some of the gaffes I did in early episodes of Gothic Homemaking. The Halloween signs are a little kitschy for me, but in that section I found these really novel bats and crows. And if you're getting ready for creepy Christmas, you're going to love these macabre ornaments. These skeletons would look great on a Gothmas tree, as would these skulls. Back in the craft section, I found this skull that I think I can really use on a DIY project. And keep in mind that once all the Halloween hauls are out of the way, it's back to DIY projects on this channel. So keep an eye out for that. I also think I might get some use out of this coffin-shaped piece of wood. And if you like signs, check these out. I'm a chalkboard, and you can draw on me. On the way out of the store by the checkout counter, I found these jars, and the corks were removable. Success! So I did pick up a couple of extra items at that location, as you can see, but I still felt like they maybe hadn't put out all of their Halloween stuff yet, because there was still a lot of empty shelf space. So, a few weeks later, I went to yet another Joann's, this one in Westbury, New York. Take a look. About this point, the thought that was going through my mind was just how different the facades of these stores are from city to city. On the inside, though, I found a lot of the same items, but there were some new items as well, like this really cool steampunk Bunsen burner. This one's perfect for you mad scientists. And if your lair is sepia and black, you've got to grab this pillow. Speaking of black, there was a velvet skull that was so dark that I can't even show you the features unless I get really close up on it. And while I don't go for the kitschy animated objects, I was really impressed by this violin just because Oh my god, it's playing Sanson's Dance Macabre. That's one of my favorite pieces. And speaking of my favorite pieces, I love these pumpkin holders. But I don't use them for holding pumpkins. I use them for holding trays of food at parties. In the artificial plant section, I found these lovely twigs, which I think you probably saw me use in my DIY of how to make a gothic bouquet. As you know, the lace tablecloths at Joann's are spectacular. And check out this mantle scarf. Back in the fabric section, I found yet more patterns that I hadn't seen previously, like these beautiful spiderweb patterns. I bought a couple yards of each. And you can really show that you have brains as well as talent if you make a dress out of this zombie pattern. And they had some other dark surprises. Speaking of which, in the kitchen towel section, I found this design. This is by far the best kitchen towel I've seen all season. I bought all four they're gonna get some use. Well, as I mentioned, the spell was broken. If you've been following these videos, you know that I have not been able to find tasteful kitchen towels that I can use year-round. And now, at Joann's, I have found two designs. Yet, I did think that the shelves still seemed very empty to me. And I thought, maybe there just isn't more to be found at Joann's. So, I gave up, right? No, of course not. I went to another Joann's September 21st in Jacksonville, Florida. Here we go. I walked into this Jacksonville, Florida Joann fabric and craft store and was instantly met with the fabric section. And believe it or not, there were new designs there that I flipped my lid over. There were a lot of the same items I saw at the other locations, like the violin and this other strange contraption that had a skeleton inside that knocked on the glass. And while the animatronic skeleton isn't for me, I seriously considered repurposing the outside of that thing. There were also these strange contraptions that had a skull and a light inside, which I thought were quite novel. And they had these skeleton candles, and they had skeletons inside of jars. And then back to this sassy skeleton. I got a much better look at him at this location. And I gotta say, I love his 16th century garb, and his sassy pose, and his eyes actually light up. While I don't normally go for stuff like this, I really fell in love with this guy. And at 60% off, you really can't bat a lash at these. There also happen to be lots of owl figures at this one, and owl prints, and skeletal owls, and owl kitchen towels. 
Who would have known owls would be so popular? They also have that skeleton kitchen towel that I love so much. And wait, what's this? A vintage winged skull design with spider webs? Oh my god, that's a must have. So as you can see, Joann's really hit it out of the park this year. Everything's 60% off, and these kitchen towels are to die for. I thought I was done, and then in the bottom shelf I saw this. What is it? Well, they're apparently serving dishes, but if you lay them out, they form a skeleton. Those skeletal serving dishes are going to really come in handy at a Halloween party. I really hope I can do a Halloween party this year like I did last year. If you didn't see that episode, go and check it out. I think it's quite hilarious. Uh, in fact, there's a lot of shopping videos that I've done this season, and they're all in one playlist for you to see right here on the Lair of Voltaire. There's also a bunch of DIY projects on this channel, which I hope you will enjoy. All in all, I went to four Joanne fabric locations. Uh, right up until the very end, I felt like they didn't have as much merchandise as they had last year. Of course, it's entirely possible I was just overwhelmed last year because it was my first time ever walking into a Joanne. I'll give them this much, they broke the curse of the kitchen towels. I now have enough kitchen towels to last me the entire year, and I found a lot of really great items there. So, happy hunting, check out a Joann's, I'm sure you'll find some great things there as well, and I'll see you next time here on Gothic Homemaking.